Long Beach man, so much drama in the LBC, who blagged about crime on Instagram, pleads guilty to $2.6 million jewelry heist. You'll probably remember it. It's the luxury jewelers of Beverly Hills, and you see all the suspects going in there, breaking into the glass, and stealing what the federal government says was $2.6 million worth of jewelry out of the display case. Now, the person who agreed to that guilty plea today was, according to the DOJ, the getaway driver in all of this. He is actually down the street waiting in a car. The DOJ accuses him of leading the convoy after the smash and grab in which more than 20 watches were stolen. Pat, part of the way they were able to find him is because, of course, he posted about it on social media. How do you get caught taking glam photos for the gram like some sort of boss diva? See, everyone wants to be QB1. Nobody wants to run block. Your role didn't even include any smashing or grabbing, yet there you are snapping it up for police to gram for law enforcement's internet like you single-handedly snatched the whole store off the rack running promo there's no instruction manual for how to commit the perfect crime well not telling anyone will definitely give you a leg up it'll at least give you a head start but Liddell Tharp learned the hard way that he probably shouldn't have bragged about it on Instagram nor does it help when one of your crew leaves their phone at the scene of the crime like some sort of calling card I don't know why people do that why they take their phone and their IDs to go commit these robberies Tharp 39 of Long Beach pleaded guilty in U.S. District Court in Los Angeles Monday to taking part in a 2.6 million dollar heist from a Beverly Hills jewelry store on March 23rd, 2022. That day, prosecutors said several mass suspects armed with crowbars walked into luxury jewels on South Beverly Drive during business hours, then smashed display cases and grabbed jewelry as store employees and customers watched. The person who agreed to that guilty plea today was, according to the DOJ, the getaway driver in all of this. He is actually down the street waiting in a car. The DOJ accuses him of leading the con Convoy after the smash and grab in which more than 20 watches were stolen at 39 years old doing things that we expect to see from these teenagers or other dumbass youngins putting your business out there all on cops to gram chasing that social validation we're talking almost three million dollars here you'd rather tell the whole world what you did other than give yourself the best possible chance to not get caught the thieves made off with 19 bracelets seven pairs of earrings four necklaces a pair of obelisks, eight rings and 20 watches. According to federal prosecutors, what? No partridge in a pear tree? Investigators say several clues at the scene and on social media led them to Tharp and multiple other suspects, including Jimmy Lee Vernon and Deshaun Bell. According to prosecutors, investigators recovered a mobile phone at the jewelry store that surveillance footage showed had fallen out of Vernon's pocket. Days later, Vernon told his probation officer that his phone number had changed. The robbery crew whose brash smash and grab approach caught the attention of police in Long Beach who contacted Beverly Hills to say they had a possible suspect Tharp. What this particular article isn't telling you is that Tharp played absolutely no role in any smashing or grabbing of anything. He conducted what they call surveillance or he was just a lookout. So basically, he was that guy on belly that was in the basement drinking a 40 on the couch. Tharp's name was also linked to one of the getaway cars used in a robbery just all over the place like pigeon poop. I'm starting to think they would have been a lot better off not taking him. Yo, you're still one of the homies. We still love you. You just can't go with us on this one. According to investigators, the license plate matched the vehicle that Tharp had rented at an Enterprise rent-a-car in Long Beach. Hours before the robbery, Tharp recorded a video of himself and his fellow robbery crew members, everyone say conviction, wearing the same clothes they were seen wearing in surveillance footage, but without their masks, court documents show. The same video shows Tharp walking up to a vehicle with tinted windows, which reflected his image. Prosecutor said the location was later linked to an address associated with Tharp. God damn. <laughs> Now, the guy that dropped this phone, which I will never understand why people bring their phones and wallets when carrying out these type of deals, but it's not for me to understand. But that was an accident at the end of the day. This guy here, he has the Instagram photos, then he has the rent a car in his name. And on top of that, he's taking full videos with his co-defendants just hours before the robbery. Like, whose team are you playing for? The suspects even discuss specific details about the robbery over Instagram. Well, I guess all of them share 
share an equal slice of the conviction cake. Then weeks before the heist, Vernon and Tarp talked about what type of getaway car they would use in the brand of police scanner they would need to buy. Just doing too much. Days after the crime, prosecutor said Tharp posted a photo of stacks of cash on Instagram with the caption, Robbery Gang. Tharp, who has been in federal custody since March 2023, is scheduled to be sentenced on January 6, 2025. He faces up to 20 years in prison. He is not going to get 20 years, not even close. Like Tharp, both Bell and Vernon pleaded guilty to one count of interference with commerce by robbery. Bell was sentenced to one year and one day in federal prison. That's why I'm telling you they are not going to get any time for this. In order to pay $2.6 million in restitution, that'll hurt though, according to court records. Vernon is scheduled to be sentenced in early December. There you have it, kids. Liddell Tharp apparently hyping up a near $3 million jewelry heist over social media doesn't go over well with law enforcement. Who knew? Tell me what you think. I'll see you in the next video.